Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to organize my sticker folder. Um, a couple of you guys have asked where this is from. It's from the Sticky Club and yeah, <laughs> I've been kind of showcasing this in some of my plan with me videos and I realized that it was just extremely unorganized and kind of driving me nuts. So I decided to take everything out and sort of sort the stickers by category and then um, shed whatever was unneeded or unnecessary, took out some duplicates. And yeah, I wanted to kind of do this with you guys. So hopefully you guys enjoy this video. So I started out by emptying every single folder and I noticed there was one of the folders that was actually upside down. So I swapped that around and I just wanted to get a complete fresh start. Um, this folder is amazing for storing and organizing stickers, however, if you like overstuff it, um, it becomes a little clumsy and hard to flip the pages, which is why I was like, I need a sticker decluttering slash organization session, and it was really therapeutic actually. So here I am just opening all the folders and taking out all the different stickers. The great thing about this is the front and back panel are actually um, like slots and there's actually a divider in between the slots so you can have kind of two sections in the front and back cover which I thought was really really cool. So I'm just kind of showing you guys the folder without any stickers in it and how it's supposed to look um, and it has this little band where you can keep everything together nicely. All right, so my thought process here was to kind of group stickers based on like category or store um, or type of sticker. So for these, I got them off of Amazon and um, they're kind of, uh, some of them are translucent, most are translucent actually, but I had a lot of them. So I just grouped those together. And then um, I had some dog ones here, which I don't really use in my planner. So I put those on the side for now, but eventually took them out. Um, and then these are some stickers that I ordered from the Paper Dolls Company and I wanted to kind of put them together in her little pocket folder here just to keep it organized. Super cute die cut on the front. And then I had some post-its, just put that on the side for now. And we've got some stickers from the Square Lime Design which I wanted to kind of organize by size and put those together. Um, and I had some like bullet journaling type stickers which I kept in the top right and then some cute die cuts on the left again some like bullet journal type sticker craft paper um, date headers on the right and oh I did have a, a 3d sticker which I took out because I don't really use those in my bullet journals and these were a little bit tall but very very cute so I wanted to remove the packaging the set was also from Amazon so I tried to stick it together with the original Amazon set on the left Oh, I accidentally took out the clear film divider for the back panel or front panel, so I tucked that back in. And yeah, I'm just kind of sorting, which I really, really love organizing, kind of like a Marie Kondo style, except I'm not tossing um, things that don't spark joy, or maybe I have too many things that spark joy. But this is really therapeutic, and I highly recommend organizing your stickers if you feel like things are getting a little chaotic, because after doing this, I just feel like my sticker setup is just so, so clean and easy to find my stickers based on the categories that I set them up in, and it'll be really nice to plan with. Um, so here I am. I can't remember the shop name. I can look that up, but that shop has very, very nice stickers, but I think they're from overseas. And, oh, so these are from, oh, I'm going to butcher the name, but I think it's like Swatelier. Um, but I got them from a store called Mido and also from Jet Pens. Um, and the Sticky Club all carry these stickers and they're very, very high quality stickers. Um, some of them are translucent, some are not. And I basically took all of them out of the packaging so they could fit easier, but I did keep the backing mainly because it's easy to see the design if it's translucent. And then I got these um, kind of solid plain uh, stickers that I put them on the bullet journaling section of my sticker organization. So more sorting, these are all from the same brand mostly, but I wanted to kind of divide it into like kawaii animals up top and then the food and travel home decor type stickers um, to the right. And yeah, so now I have all of my piles done. I'm just kind of like sorting and organizing, getting some space so that I can fill up my sticker folder. So I decided that I wanted to decorate a little bit um, 
on the front panel. Oh, here I am just putting some of the kawaii stickers. So I put my favorite stickers in the front folder just because they're ones that I think I'm gonna use more often than the others. And I think it just looks cute. So it's nice to just see the cute ones first. <laughs> um, but I think after this, maybe I go into organizing the front. Oh no, so still um, putting the stickers away, trying to close the folders as I can. And the little slider um, moves very smoothly on these, which I really like. And so here I'm going to put the Paper Dolls Company and the Square Lime Designs in the same pocket because they're both uh, from small shops and similar size. Tried to put those two together, but it was um, too thick. So this one I was scared to pinch the sides, so I just kind of shut it there. And then these are from the Paper Panda. And I tucked her stickers into there as well. Here I am just picking out, oh I had some duplicates and then I realized I don't need to store like all of the doubles in my folder to make it bulky and difficult to use. So I just took out what um, I needed and any duplicates I put on the side to kind of shed some space. And you can see some of the stickers are too tall for the folders, which I think is great to have those front and back slots because you can accommodate the larger stickers in this folder as well. So for the Amazon stickers, there were actually a lot of sticker sheets, so I put it towards the back because it would weigh a little bit more. I didn't want it to be like flopping around in the front when I'm flipping pages, so that was the reasoning for tucking those in the back spot. Okay, so here I am putting these really cute little stickers on the front. I think my friend Eugene got these for me from Korea, and um, a little cute die cut, die cut from Sissy's art shop. And there we go. So I'm kind of trying to showcase that there's a little pocket so that you can divide the stickers in the front. And all right, I think I'm gonna go to the back panel here. Oop, I forgot some stickers. So I'm just gonna sort those back into their appropriate pocket. It's so nice and easy. I might even add like, um, sticker tabs maybe to like list what it is. I think I kind of remember where everything is now, but might not be a bad idea to do in the future. So these stickers from Mommy Lay, I'm going to tuck into the back pocket and adding some more stickers in front of it. These didn't fit in the folder, so I'm just putting them in the back panel, but in the front slot instead. So as you can see remaining on the desk, I've got some like a paper clip, a little iron-on piece, like little kitty at the top left, some die cuts, some post-its. So here I'm trying to decide what to do next. And I got this um, three pocket folder from the Sticky Club and decided to tuck in some of these cute stickers and paper clips just to make it look cute. Um, I don't know, I use these things as much, but I was like, oh, they're so cute in their packaging. So I decided to just tuck them into the front slot actually. So I moved some things around. And in the end, I decided that post-its didn't really need to go into my sticker folder. So I just sorted those into my desk instead, put those aside. And these little individual stickers, I decided if I kind of like spread them out, they could fit into a pocket just because I had the extra space. Otherwise, these probably would have gone too, but I had the extra folder, so hey, why not? All right, well, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video and got inspired to organize your sticker station. I'll leave a link below to the Sticky Club, and if you guys want to check out their sticker folder, I highly, highly recommend. Um, all right, I will see you guys in the next video and happy organizing.